In this video, we'll be going over permutations. Given an array nums of distinct integers, return all the possible permutations. You can return the answer in any order. So our input array is 1, 2, 3, and these are all of the possible permutations. Each of the elements is used once in each of the combinations. Let's go over the dot process. So we will be implementing a recursive backtracking approach for each of the elements x inside the input array we will need to check if we have already if we have already added x to our current permutation we have already added x to our current permutation this means we'll need to create a boolean array to keep track of the previous elements that we have already already added to our permutation Then after accounting for x in our current permutation, we will need to backtrack our steps. This will allow us to give space for the next element and also allow us to find the next permutation. Now let's go over the pseudocode. So we are going to create a list results to keep track of all to keep track of all permutations. Then we will be implementing the recursive backtracking approach. Now what parameters do we need for the recursive calls? We will first need our nums is the input array and our used is the boolean array to keep track of previously used elements. And then we have our permutation, so our current permutation. And then we can have our result list to keep track of all permutations. Then what was the base case? The base case is when if the permutation, the size of permutation is equal to the length of nums, this means we have accounted for all elements. We can add a copy of permutation to result. This means we have found a valid permutation and then we can return from the recursive call. Now in each of the recursive call, we're going to iterate through the indices of the input array. Or, or the indices of nums to be exact, denoted as i. If used i is true, this means we have already accounted for the current elements, then we do not want to use the current elements in our permutation again. So I'm going to continue to next index. We're going to, we're going to set used i to true. This, uh, we, are, we are going to be using the current elements, and we're going to add nums i to our current permutation. Then we're going to recursively find the rest of the permutation. Now, after this, after accounting for nums i, we want to backtrack our steps. So we're going to set used i to false again. Then we're going to remove the last elements from permutation. Then after all of this, we can return our resulting list. Now let's go over the code. We're going to create our list results to keep track of all permutations. And then we're going to backtrack our steps. The input array, the new Boolean array to keep track of used elements. And our array list to keep track of our current permutation and our resulting list. And then we can return results. Now we gotta go do our base case is when permutation.size 
is equal to the length of the input array. That means we already found all of the elements. Then we can add a copy of permutation to our resulting list. We want to add a new list because we do not want to pass a reference of permutation into our result. Turn from the recursive call, then we're going to iterate through the indices of the input array. If the current element is already used, we want to skip it, so we just want to continue. Else, we just we can add the current element to our permutation. We're going to set used i to true to avoid adding the current element again in the future. We're going to add the current element to permutations. Dot add nums i. Now we're going to backtrack our uh, no. We're going to continue to Recursively find the rest of the permutation. Results. And then now we're going to backtrack our steps to allow space for the next elements and also finding the next permutation. So remove the last elements. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Like and subscribe for more videos that will help you pass the technical interview. I upload videos every day and if there are any topics you want me to cover, let me know in the comment section below.